Hello, this is Dan Morgan from Beyond 20, and today we're going to take a look at modifiers for text in shareable service management. So I've got a blueprint open here, and we're going to go take a look at a field that I created on the incident form that's going to take the requester's email address from their profile and actually strip out some characters after the at sign. So I added this new field here called Demo Field for Modifiers, and if I right click and go to the field properties, I can take a look at a calculation that I put on that field. So if I go to properties here on the left and then take a look at the calculation for that field, I'll hit my little drop down arrow so I can see the full calc. I created a stored calculation or a stored expression called modify the requester email. And if I edit that calc, you'll see that all I've done is I've taken the customer.email field and I can grab that either from dropping the little black drop down arrow here or I could have right clicked in the white area of the field. But either way, it's going to show me not only the incident fields, but any related objects. So I'd go down to the customer fields and grabbed that email address here. Again, I could have just right clicked here, and that'll give me the same drop down list. So I grabbed the customer.email field, and then once it's in my text expression here, I can right click and take a look at modifiers. So all I did for this one is say, I want to grab any text that comes before the at sign. Now I also could have done text after, text between, uh, take a text field, turn it into a logical true or false, turn it into a number, make it an uppercase, make it a lowercase, go to the last word of a sentence, um, say that this contains a certain word or text, go to the left, go to last word. So you've got quite a few different choices here for those modifiers. And they're easy to add just by clicking the little green plus sign. So maybe I say that I want the text before the at signed, and I want to remove any white spaces that happen to be in his name as well. I'm going to take that off for this example, but let me go back here and just cancel the work that I've done. We'll back all the way out. And once I've applied this blueprint, what's going to happen then is if I go to my client tool, we'll take a look at Bruce Robertson. He is the requester for this ticket, and here's my text modifier field. So it actually stripped off everything from the at sign on. So this is his email address from his customer profile, bruce.robertson at rivertcorp.com. If I click on my little blue arrow here to go to his profile, you'll see that if I change his email address on that profile record, that change is going to be reflected by that calculation that modifies the text. So if I go down to his email address, and let's say I call him uh, Brucey, and save the record. And then if I reload the screen, now it's Brucey.Robertson. So again, anything before that at sign, I told that modifier to grab that information. Where we see that used a lot is previously when the manager field came in from Active Directory, it was in the fully qualified uh, format. So it was OU equals, um, DC equals, and we had to strip that out. So you could do that with modifiers. Give me everything after the OU equals and before the first DC equals, and that would give us Gina's name. Now this is built into Sharewell right now in these later versions, and this is version 7. We have those modifiers built in to that manager field. So that's a quick and easy way to use text modifiers in Sharewell Service Management. If you'd like to see more videos that we have, please go to youtube.com slash beyond20llc to subscribe.